friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in the 12 days of Christmas that is hosted by Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World and basically it's 12 days of ornaments. So you will be seeing all kinds of ornaments in the next 12 days so be watching. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay here is DIY number one. So for this uh, ornament, I used a wood round I got from Hobby Lobby, my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and antique wax. Um, this printout I created on uh, Cricut and some painter's tape. So I'm gonna start off by measuring um, where the middle of that round is. And then I'm just gonna use my painter's tape to um, separate the the sides and once I get that all on there I'm going to take my antique wax and I am just going to brush it all on the bottom portion of that um, wood round or the top portion whichever you prefer to have it <laughs> and after I brush it all on then I take my uh, paper towel and I just wipe off the excess and you'll see me do that here and then after I got done with that, I just removed the tape, moved it down, and then I am adding the ink, which is black in Waverly chalk paint, and I'm doing that on the opposite side. And then after they were both dry, I'm going to um, take my this print print out from Cricut. Now I didn't create this. I actually got it off of Cricut MySpace and I'm going to um, put that onto my wood round. Now I ha was using Dollar Tree vinyl so I didn't want to bore you with me trying to get it on there. <laughs> then I took my crocodile and made a hole and I took some of this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby and I am just making a little bow and um, I'm doing the normal bow I normally do where I make the awareness sign and scrunch it up in the middle and then I'm going to use um, some twine instead of a twist tie um, to scrunch up the middle. So I'm just going to tie a knot here and dovetail the ends and I have my bow created. But before I put my bow on, I took some more of the jute twine and I am just making a hanger. So I just put it through the hole and I am tying a knot with the two strands there. Then after that, I'm going to take some of these uh, fern pieces from a Dollar Tree pick and I'm just hot gluing them onto the top there by the hanger and then I'm just going to add the bow right in the middle. And you guys, I absolutely love this ornament. I It is my favorite of all the ornaments I've made this year. So then I take one of those pine cones that I got from um, Walmart in a bag of pine cones and greenery and I just hot glue it in the middle. And there it is. I absolutely adore this one. Let me know what you think. So today is the last day of the 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments playlist that was hosted by Jackie at Creating in Mimi's World and Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY. It is has a ton of inspiration for making ornaments for you for the last 12 days. So make sure you check out their channels and then check out all the videos in the playlist. I will have links to both in my description box. And then if you haven't seen all the rest of the days, go back and watch them. There are some amazing um, ornament ideas. Okay, so back to crafting. So here is DIY number two. I love this one too, guys. Um, so I used that another wood round that Joy signed from Dollar Tree, the napkin from Dollar Tree, and then Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and in the color fern. So I'm starting off here by brushing that metal Joy sign with some Mod Podge because that will help the paint adhere to it. And then I, while it was drying, I took my ink color and I just paint that whole wood round with that um, color. And then after I was done doing that, I took my napkin here <clears throat> and I am going to cut it um, to, so that it just has that square there. And then I'm gonna take the second layer uh, off of it 
I'm going to separate the layers. And then I'm going to trim it way down. I'm just going all around the flowers. I first thought I wanted to use the green uh, leaves that were on this side, but it didn't look right. I didn't like the way it looked, so I decided to trim it off. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just giving it a good trim. And then once I have this all trimmed, I am going to adhere it with Mod Podge. Now I'm going to... I don't know what happened to some of my footage. It's not there, so I'm kind of going to walk you through what I do. So I'm going to um, add a whole bunch of Mod Podge on it, of course, and then I'm going to put the napkin back down on my round and add more Mod Podge and let it dry. Um, once it was drying, here y'all, I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. When you do a napkin, if you haven't Mod Podge with the napkin, you wanna be really careful because they are very, um, they tear very easily. So that's why I'm patting and not rubbing. And that's kind of what you wanna do. I've seen other people use a plastic wrap. Um, that helps to, um, to use plastic wrap when you're pushing it down. Um, that, I guess, helps it not to rip. So here is where I'm adding the Mod Podge all over on the top. And I'm really bummed because I did the burning method after it was all dry to burn off the excess and it did not make it for some reason on my video. And it was really cool to watch actually. <laughs> I'll have to do it again. So then I take my fern color and I'm painting the Metal Word uh, Joy with that um, fern color. And then after that I... Uh, use some glue dots to adhere it to my wood round. I do some brushing with my antique Waverly wax on it to give it a distressed look. I have some uh, burlap poinsettias I got from Hobby Lobby that I added to the top as well as a gold braided um, cord from Hobby Lobby that I used for the hanger. Okay, here's DIY number three. So for this one, I use another wood round and I use one of these window clings that I got. I believe I got this from Dollar General. And so I'm going to start off by painting the wood round with my ink color. And I'm going to give that a coat all the way around. And then after that, I'm going to take um, that window cling and I'm going to trim it so that you don't see all that plastic all around it. And then after I get this all trimmed, I am gonna use my glue stick to adhere it to the wood round. Now you can use a glue stick, you can use Mod Podge. Um, I like to use glue stick because it just doesn't show any brush strokes like Mod Podge does. And then once I have that on there, I use my crop dial again to make a little hole. And once I get that hole made, I make another little bow with this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I am going to um, use some twine on this again instead of uh, a twist tie to, um, to make my bow. If you're new here, I just wanna say welcome. I am so glad you're here. If you like what you see, I hope you hit that subscribe button, become part of our family, and then let me know in the comment box below that you're new here. I'd really love to get to know you. So then I just used some more of that ribbon and I'm gonna use that as a hanger. So I just threaded it through the hole and I'm just tying a knot here. And then after that, I'm going to um, dovetail the end so that makes it look nice. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use my or I'm gonna hot glue that bow right where that hanger is. And then once I have that on there, I'm going to use um, the a pine cone from that bag of goodies that I got from Walmart. And then I am also have some of the greenery that I'm gonna hot glue underneath that pine cone. Then I decided to need a little more, so I took that braided uh, cord from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna hot glue that all the way around my uh, wood round. And that's all there was for this one. I think this is really cute too. I love how all three of these turned out. Let me know in the comment box below what you think about these and um, 
if which one was your favorite and if you think you'll recreate them and don't forget guys to make sure you like my comment or my video if you like it make sure you give me that thumbs up there you go and uh, comment I always love communicating with you guys and, and love to see what you have to say so here is a final look at the last three ornaments I absolutely adore these I hope you do too let me know and I will be back again um, Mm, I think Wednesday. So have those notification bells set. And until then, have a blessed week. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.